All right, we're entering a new arc after the 20th floor test. And what's happening? The craziest revenge plot by Blue Turtle is happening. He is... He's just... Oh my god. He's like separating from the pack. He's like... Gathering specific random people so that they can delude Rachel into thinking like they like are protecting her, but we're not getting emotional at all. And Blue Turtle made it sure like nobody touches her. We're gonna make sure that she thinks that she's safe. And then just when the time is ripe, the ultimate revenge is gonna happen. Now, they still don't know that Blue Turtle is alive. And I wonder, sorry, that bomb is alive. And I wonder if their mindset was changed. If they meet Veal right now and be like, wait, you're still alive? We don't have to do this stuff? I still want that revenge plot to cook. But I just feel like no matter what, Rachel's going to get away with it. Because she is the author's favorite child of this show. And like, there is no justice. Let's begin today's reaction. I love Hwarion, bro. She showed so much character last episode. So far, she was just this mysterious girl. Right? Super mysterious. No lines. <laughs> last episode. Like, where did that come from? Are these all Fug members? Both. <gasps> Yun. Okay. What are we then, bitch? Alright, Cooker. You know what? He just went out of his way to protect your dumbass. And you still want to throw us down? You know what? Just kill her. <laughs> kill her now. How many episodes are we in? We're six episodes in of Tower of God. And this girl still has like little to no redeeming qualities. Genuinely. And I don't think I'm being unfair. I'm just looking at the anime episodes and seeing the lines that she's in. And yes, I get it. You're always like, huh, actually, Kaka TV, you can't be mean to Yun because the ten great families and fuck are really against each other. Please stop being mean to my favorite girl. Shut the fuck up, pussy. Look at the episodes and tell me she's not annoying. Oh. Ugh. Yes, Jin Sung, you fuck her up. Right now! Beat her ass! Cheap perm? <laughs> Unk? <laughs> okay, the insults are pretty good there. GG! <laughs> GG! High ranker! Oh shit! High ranker! Fuck her up! She got out. <laughs> Too easy, man. Too easy, dude. <laughs> That's like the techniques that Bomb uses, right? I wonder if he was part of with like the training session with the Fug people. Because like Bomb did use like martial arts with like Shinsu, you know, uh, clad like fist attacks. <laughs> no, not satisfied. <laughs> Beat her ass. No witnesses. Of <laughs> oh, we came over. <laughs> Yun fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't care at all, huh? Yo, in Korean culture, like, these apples, it's, it's pretty expensive, man. Like, to bring this as a gift, like, really nice, fancy pears or apples as, like, a, like a gift. We're not bad people, yeah? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can trust them. Well, we're... Well, do you trust Hwarion? I don't know, honestly, if I trust Hwarion or not. I still don't really feel... I don't know how I feel about Fug, but... I don't think they're all bad, right? Oh, he's the sensei. Okay, okay. こいつに仲間ができ同じチームにさせられたっていうし。いや、まあ。でもなかなかいいチームであんたがハブったりとかしてないよね。いいっすね。だいあるわけない。思ったよりよく喋るんだな。<笑> They are. I thought that they'd be super scary, intimidating people, but this guy just seems nice, huh? Wang Nan is scared out of his mind, though. True. You could. Got no one else to go. That's right, her flames. It's out of control. She killed her own team. 
It's only her? Yeah, it's only her. She's like a defect in the Yun family, I guess. Well, I bet, like, because it's so uncontrollable and volatile that her, like, s ceiling of power potential is also higher than, like, other Yun members, maybe. Hmm? Defect, right there. Classroom of the fucking elite D class, but we're all just a bunch of defects here. But good at like one specific thing or so. Team of defects. AK so reasonable. Using sleeping. Looks like Mr. Jinsung is a very, very proud uncle. Huh? He loves how talented Viola is. That's nice that like, you know... Well, I don't know how he truly feels, but he seems like he genuinely cares about the kid. Uh, hi. <laughs> I'm Bye. Cheap perms. <laughs> GG. Bro. Oh, Haryon eating apple. Haryon doing anything, bro. Dude, Haryon in that... This outfit, bro. We, I just need more of her. <laughs> Bye bye. Uncle was yapping too long. They're tired. <laughs> Who is he? Veal or Jin Sung? Probably Veal, right? Yes. Okay. It was not Veal, it was Jin Sung. She perm GG showed up. To gauge how good these potential teammates are and call them if they're useless. <laughs> well, hold up. Do you think he just went to kill the kid? I don't know. No, no, no. No, Uncle left first and then B Sing and Go Sing left. I'm like, are these two useful? Anyways, um, interesting. Scary shit, man. Instead, he came to give us apples. Wow. Oh, Are they gonna come for us? So what does that really mean, right? I know that each floor has an admin. I know that if you make a contract with them, you can also use the Shinsu. And Bam was using Shinsu before the contract in the Crown Games was very rare. But because of that contract, Zahad is invincible. As in, he also has the administrator's powers as well. I'm just trying to understand, like, beyond just the contract formula, like, what does that really imply? <laughs> like, it sounds like a rule, almost like, right? Like, no resident can kill Zahad. But we're not a resident of the tower. Right? We're from the outside. We're an irregular. So should that not matter? It shouldn't apply, right? <laughs> But he can. Bum. Irregular, irregular. Yes. Yeah. Why doesn't Urek Mazino just do it though? Isn't he like the strongest irregular ever? There's also some floor that Yuri told us to go to at the end of season one, which I'm assuming Urek's people are there. And that tattoo he has on his back, the different winged feather tree. I'm assuming those basically represent, like, his other wings, meaning, like, his teammates. So, like, we should go meet up with Urek and figure out what to do. He's doing what? what? Staring absently outside? Mirchia. He's such a good teacher. He's like saying, like, I know you didn't ask for this. And he's being very reasonable rather than saying, You need to kill Zahad now. Come on. You kill Zahad yet? Come on. He's a mm. You could do it to find out more answers for Rachel. Nope. These fucked up fug members are manipulating this poor kid and his affection towards Rachel and trying to get some closure and basically just use that to say, you want to get those answers? Fucking become a slayer. Climb the tower. They know what's most important. No, they don't. 
Well, no, no, they do. Because they know how important Rachel and the, and the closure is, they manipulate him with that. That's fucked. Oh! What the fuck, you Hansong? This poor kid. Like, Bam is such a poor kid being manipulated. <laughs> I quit. I'm literally gonna drop out of the tower. Yes, please kill Rachel first. Please. First up. Yes. No! That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. This is true. If she wants to be the star, bro. The scum at the top of the tower. What interesting wording here. Rachel trying to go to the top to like find a star or something. But at the end of the day, what was the star? She wanted to be the star. She wanted to be the focus and be the main character of the show. But Bomb existing took all that away from her. So she had to do it. That's the whole reason of season one, Rachel, right? Oh. Ten friend list. Oh, it's her friend list. If you show any weakness, I'll kill. That's so fucked up, dude. No, that's so fucked up, bro. This poor kid. He can't afford to fail. That's so twisted. Yu Han Sung is just showing just how ruthless and cold he really is, huh? Damn. He just. He can't even afford to fail. There is. The possibility of failing doesn't even exist. No, you need to succeed or they'll die. That's kind of. A little bit too cruel, don't you think? Because he's shocked knowing his past. I love this. I love You monsters! Takes a bite of the apple. Hwarian, <laughs> completely undisturbed. Completely unfazed, unbothered. She don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Because like at the end of the day, it's probably the philosophy of like, you know what? Yeah, 10 people could potentially die. We're also ruining this kid's life. But that's merely... That's not even in triple digits yet. Like think about the oppression or the things that King Zahad has done that's killed all many people in the tower, right? I don't think he's a very good ruler. So it's like for the greater good, we're willing to sacrifice this small amount. <laughs> You're like us? Mm. But like... It was... Didn't the admin of the director of the test literally say at the end of Last Dark that Wang Nan has passed as Fug desires, right? So clearly this interaction is very important because Wang Nan is also an important piece. It's not just Bam, Viol being the slayer. After you slay the king, who are you gonna put on the throne? Clearly, it's this kid. So, like, yeah, right now he's being vetted. Yo, who's snoring right now? AK? <laughs> he really likes just staring out into the distance, huh? You should just push him. Woo! Remember that? Episode 12? Oh, it's Jin Sung snoring. Our sensei. Bomb had no choice, bro. Very good guy. He's an angel. This just looks like a death flag. Okay, then. Alright. Young girl. You're here to apologize? You're here to do. それは今日のことで少し関係ないでしょ。正直に聞きを感じてね。You should. ライバルの登場に焦ったレンリカ。ツンデレ作戦を諦めた。ツンデレ作戦を諦めた。ツンデレ作戦を諦めた。ツンデレ作戦を諦めた。ツンデレ作戦を諦めた。ツンデレ作
Wang Nan. That's so dangerous, man. Everyone's like, that is so cute. Horyang's pajamas. It's a big bear. Why is this guy so goddamn cute? Sexual harassment. <laughs> New character. Seems like he's wearing some kind of mask, well, I don't know. Oh! Karaka mentioned! That's the actual Slayer! They mentioned about an actual Slayer because we're a Slayer candidate. This guy is the actual Slayer, right? Karaka. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes. What the fuck was that soundtrack for like five seconds? Like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> he's still wearing it. Okay, it's not his pajamas. It's just new clothes. Very cute, Horyang. So like, why is there multiple slayers? Because Karaka is not a candidate. He's an actual slayer. Do you need to slay other things too, not just King Zahad? You would think like. Maybe he's like a failed Slayer prospect of like, they don't know if he can kill Zahad. Or it's just like, until Zahad goes down, they keep procuring extra candidates as backup, just in case the next Slayer can't do it. Then they can have another one just immediately try. I, I think that makes sense, right? And I guess Karaka, if he's here, they said that other FUG members are not too accepting of, you know, Veal's new teammates like Jinsung is. So maybe he's one of those members. Test in the middle of the ocean? Who the fuck are you? Is the test proctor? Like love? Also, yes, this is this gotta be China. This this gotta be racist, bro. This this gotta be racist somehow. <laughs> On the back of a big fish thing? What the fuck? Okay. Deep sea fish. Get the flower in the body. チゲナの花はチゲナの体内でだけ育つ宝で代表価を受けていますその希少価値の高い。Thank God. I thought that we'd have to go up its butthole or some shit. その両穴から体内に入れば効率よく花を探せるでしょう。Alright okay. guys, split and enter both holes. 30 minute time duration until what? Got it, got it, got it. 30 minute intervals of that happening. Stop, stop, stop. You're gonna break it. Stop, stop. No, she's gonna break this fucking wheel. She's so useless, dude. <laughs> she is absolutely... All... The only thing she got going is her looks. Everything else just fucking sucks. Oh, it's flipping over. Did it just fucking sit on us? I think so. Flower. Flower. Oh! That's... That's... That's Mazzino! That's the tattoo! That's the Urek tattoo, bro! Wait, he's in here? I thought that... This is like a body that's like rotting to die because of how like darkened the upper portion is to censor this shit. But is this literally not Urek Mazino right now? It is him, right? What in the Sonic CGI is this? Grows on that thing. So it's a fucking catch the pig situation. It grows in the back of that thing. All right. 
なんでこのプタ野郎その羽根よこせクローコントロール That's kind of fucked up that he just says Megane Lighthouse. <laughs> like, I, I listened to it and it registered in my mind, and I was like, damn, that's kind of mean. <laughs> like, she has a name. <laughs> just, hey, Four Eyes! Lighthouse! <laughs> Not the inside. Prince! Oh, them. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> We're not dead. Look behind you. Well, you <laughs> Too bad? No, I think she's slowly getting more. I don't think she's falling for him, but like that too bad? Nah, nah, nah. I think we're seeing a little bit more of, you know, young girl getting closer to Viola. <laughs> they dead. That's so embarrassing. I just realized. She thought that she was the only survivor, but everyone else has already gone in. And Viola is out here to get her ass back in. And he's like, oh man, is everyone dead? Huh? Good teamwork! New Prince! He's a new kid now. He, it's a rebrand. I know I was fucked up in the beginning, but I've turned over a new leaf, alright? Redemption. I am New Prince. Old Prince is no more. <laughs> Lightning? Urek! Urek, what's it? Who is it? Urek! 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 Make her do something, bro. She's literally useless other than fucking crying. Put that bitch in the hole! Mana. Alright, let's go! Just pitch darkness, bro. Red eyes. What the fuck? We saw lightning, he said, right? Lightning effect as the parasite thing came down. What is happening? Is this the sheer Sinsu powers? No comment. No comment. Urek Majino. Most powerful entity. Actually, isn't this kind of crazy? That new prince has the audacity to challenge Urek Majino. Right? Like, think about it like this. It's like Buggy the Clown challenging Whitebeard or Shanks at Marineford. And people realizing, <gasps> Oh my god! This guy, Giga Chat, new prince! Yeah, we're regulars, bro! Here to take the test! Why are you here? Yes, sir. <laughs> they sent regulars. It's all a misunderstanding, right? I don't know who they are, but it's anti Urek Mazino faction, and they think that they're sending fucking regulars. Regulars to hunt you down? You know what? That's the stupidest thing too possible, right? Like, what kind of regular could possibly damage Urek Mazin, one of the strongest entities in the tower? Why? You do the test too? I don't think so. Some rankers decided to get in my way. Really? Last time? Okay. Scary man. The test director sent regulars instead of rankers and called it a test. I are we misunderstanding here? He killed all the rankers and they're coming in? Is he just being a fucking menace and just just ruining the whole test system and misunderstanding? Or are actual rankers being sent in by a different faction? I don't know. <laughs> Baby. No. Oh. Can I see your face, please? Come on, man. We, are we never gonna see his face? 
Come on, man. That's kind of crazy. That's that's kind of crazy. What? Who do you think you are? Yo, new prince. New prince is kind of insane right now. Viol? Viol. Oh, Viol. Okay. Urek Masuda should recognize Viol, right? On the irregular stuff. Can he tell that he's an irregular? Horiang's probably right about that. Missing really went in the hole, huh? Good luck. Yeah, she's doing nothing, bro. Hiding? Oh, that Jin Sung was here to kill us all if we were trash members, but we got off lucky. <laughs> yeah, he's locking in. Listen, we're on thin ice, buddy. If we fail, Viol's friends will die. So, Yu Han Sung, he said that if you fail a test, right? I thought that that test was not about the test that it, to climb the tower, but it was more like tests during the training. So, like, there actually is a reason. Like, Yu Han Sung is saying, like, there's a list of people. We're going to kill them one by one. If you fuck up, if you cannot rise above, like, nah. Who's more scary? Yu Han Sung or Urek Mazino? I would try to befriend Urek right now and say, there's a big bad meanie named Yu Hansung that's threatening me, big bro. Big bro, can you go kill him, please? I, 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 I'm more scared of Urek than Yu Hansung, bro. No, he really can't. There's some joker shit, dude. Every day, someone fails, you, you die one by one. Now what do you look like, bro? Dude, even his eyes, like, is this this, this half crest? Is this no, maybe I'm crazy? I'm just trying to like always look at his design and like the like tattoo on his back, but it's fucking crazy, huh? Pitch red eyes. <laughs> Is he wearing a hat backwards? He is. In that tattoo, we've seen that. Baby. Baby. Listen. Am I the only one that thinks that he kind of reminds me of NL? Eminem a little bit? Like, because of like the lightning and he's like naked. And I know he's, he's wearing a hat, but like, I, I, I don't know. It's just the nakedness and like... I, I, baby. Baby. I'm a baby. Can I be your baby? <laughs> SIU stands for a slave in utero? Wait, wait. SIU, slave in utero. What the fuck? They do multiple times. It's just that this isn't the first time they talked alone at nighttime. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they did do that. I was waiting for Urek Mazino to show up or something, but all right, that's the most recent one. All right, that's today's episode of Tower God, man. The goat has shown up. Technically, three interesting new people showed up, right? Because we have Urek Mazino, who has been hyped up since the beginning of season one as an irregular who is so fucking powerful and clearly has some sort of guild of important people that also bears the same symbol that he has on his back, the tattoo, the wings of liberty or something, right? Clearly, those are wings stretching to fly, you know, across the terrors and oppression of King Zahad. I'm not really sure. This is all my like headcanon interpretation. Other than that, there was a guy named Karaka that showed up, who is a slayer that's been mentioned before, and not a candidate, an actual slayer. And then there is, uh, what's his name? Jin Sung, which is the teacher of Veal. And I'm gonna assume Jin Sung is also really, really strong. Maybe like a retired, he's a high ranker, remember. There's different like tiers of different people who've climbed to the top. A high ranker is obviously better than a ranker. So Jin Sung, Karaka, and Majino. Why the fuck is Urek in here, bro? We're trying to do just a test, and he's just been slaying motherfuckers that's been coming in here. He needs the flower for whatever reason. We need the flower to pass this test. This motherfucker's probably gonna use a flower to make a tea out of it or something, because he's he clearly doesn't need to do anything with it, but I don't know, maybe there's a different application in the flower and we just don't know yet. Also, this, uh, he said why? I thought he said it's just, I just need it. What was the reasoning? I heard, I need the flower. And then beyond that, there was no reasoning. Aside from that, it's like, we can't even afford to lose a test. We can't fail. Sure, we can retry. 
But every time we do that, someone in our fucking line will just die. He said why? Where's the man, sir? He just wants to pick flowers? Listen. Where is my- You can't just fucking say he said why and then say nothing, motherfucker. So I'm just gonna assume that you actually don't know what you're talking about and you're fucking lying to me. He didn't say why- Shut the fuck up! You deserve to get banned for- Shut- I hate you. Get the fuck out of my face. You literally challenging me on the things that I'm watching and you're just gaslighting me at this point! Literally just- Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm just gaslit to eternity, bro. Try my all my best to be locked in. I ask a genuine question. He can't even fucking answer what Whatever. Not it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.